Here's something I wouldn't have expected myself to say today. I need another 3D printer and I need it like now. So we're going to see how quickly we can unbox and get the Prusa Mark IV up and running. I'm in the midst of a pretty big project where I'm running some long prints, like the Voron right now is running a 12 hour print. My bamboo is running the same part. So I need another printer up and running. And I'm kind of lacking right now as I've been trying to get rid of some machines so I can replace them with these LDO Voron Trident and 2.4 kits, but I don't have time to build those right now. Luckily, Prusa sent over this brand new assembled Mark IV. I've just got to get it out of the box and run it. This is the kind of thing I would usually do a live stream unboxing for, especially on the Mandic Labs channel as I'm trying to do more, but I don't have time for that right now. Don't poke holes in the logic of the fact that I'm making a video about this. Let's not talk about that. So I'm gonna start the stopwatch, see how long it takes to get this thing out of the box and printing something. Now I am gonna be filming this, so I might move the camera a few times and that might add a little bit of time, but hopefully not too much. Ready, set, go. Inside we've got a thank you letter, our Haribo gummy bears. Unfortunately, these aren't vegan, so away they go. And a little guide for helping you learn some 3D printing stuff. A power cable, a USB stick with, I don't know, no idea what's on it. And then out comes the printer. Take the foam off of here. We've even got our test print already on the bed. Cool, get the power cord plugged in here. And power it on. We'll select our language, English, and on with the wizard it goes. While it's running its self-test, I'm gonna set up the spool holder and get filament out of the box. It just asked me to manually tap the nozzle so that it knew the load cell was reading properly so it can do its own Z-axis setup. Now it's test heating the hot end and the bed right now, which are both warming up. Gearbox calibration is only necessary for user assembled machines, not necessary. Uh, gearbox alignment, proceed to make sure the filament, what, no, I, I did, no, abort. Filament sensor calibration, unload, PLA. There's currently a tiny length of filament in here, so it's heating up so I can remove this. Load the filament in, continue, remove filament, filament sensor calibrated, yay. Loading filament, USB stick, Put in the USB stick and then we're gonna run the 10 minute keychain print that was already on the bed, but hey, it's a quick print. I need this thing up and running. It's bed leveling for our first print right now. We are currently at 18 minutes and 20 some seconds. So it looks like we're gonna be sub 20 minutes from out of the box, run through the auto calibrations and laying down our very first print while filming it, which did add definitely a minute or two here and there as I was filming, moving things, etc. Just under 20 minutes, 19 minutes and 25 seconds till the first purge line lay down and the print begins. So not that bad in my opinion. With that, the Prusa Mark IV is ready to be part of this project. I am gonna be printing ASA on this machine and Prusa did send the enclosure kit to go with this. However, I don't have time to put that together right now. Luckily, they did provide yet another enclosure option for me. With that in place, it's time to get back to the bigger project here. I clearly only have 20 minutes of experience with this machine, so I can't say more about it other than I was impressed how quick it was to get out of the box, set up, and printing. I hope you found this interesting. If you did, maybe let me know and I can do more of these kind of mid-project littler videos. Be sure to get subscribed to ensure your 3D prints don't fail. It's not a guarantee, but it can't hurt. See you, folks.